What's good with y'all boys? Y'all know he's one dog. Come here, get you with yet another video, man. And look, before we start this video, here are my cigs. Here are my cigs, y'all. Before we get into this little hand can. Here are all my cigs. You know what I'm saying? If you just here for that, go ahead and leave. Bye-bye. Hit the dough. You know what I'm saying? Tap that thumb and make it blue. Bye-bye. Now look, before we start this video, what is you doing watching this video right now and you ain't hit the like button, you ain't hit the subscribe button, and you ain't hit the bell yet? I'm very disappointed. Why is you watching this video and you ain't done it yet? Nah, I'm just playing with y'all, man. But what's good with y'all, man? So look, look at the cigs, copy the cigs, remember the cigs. And I want to say something real quick, man. Remember this right here, most importantly. Don't pay attention to nothing over here except this. This right here is what I'm going to be showing you guys also how to do. Like, this is probably my most favorite move in this game, to be honest with you. Now, I might note this. One move that I am having trouble doing is this one. But for the most part, everything else is golden. Now, um, also, I'll let you guys know this. Please, if you have this, you know what I'm saying? This dunk style right here, take it off. Rest Westbrook gets blocked so damn much. But okay, let's hop, you know what I'm saying? Let, let's go and hop straight into it. Okay, so let's start off with the basic, guys. The basic is just the in and outs, man. I know you guys pretty are familiar, you know what I'm saying, with that. It's just the in and outs. That's all it is. You know, and with these in and outs, as you'll see, in and outs, you can actually burst and do the left, right, as you guys can see. All it takes is for you to dribble to that hand and just go. As you guys can see, just pay close attention to the controller because I'm not going to be Mr. Scientific and just break down every single thing. But as you guys can see, the left, right will be crucial. Just like that, just with ease, as you guys can see, with just, you know what I'm saying, the in and outs. Just that easy, you know what I'm saying? You can just burst and just go, you know, with no problem. And that will literally lead to a wide open shot. Because think about it, guys. If you're constantly doing this and just... You know what I'm saying? Until you find an open shot, you're going to be unguardable. Now, that's the first, you know what I'm saying, couple moves, the in and outs. You know how to go and just burst out with it, man. So you'll actually have that in your bag. That's just the go-to, man, if you actually just want to get something simple. Because you can do a lot with just, you know what I'm saying, flicking your right stick and then holding turbo. Do a lot with that. Now, next, my go-to is, well, I I'm going to stop saying go-to, my bad. My next move is, is the hard hezzies, man. The hard hezzies, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. The hard hezzies will get you wide open shots. Because as you can see, you can also burst out of that as well. If you're constantly doing these hezzies, then I'm telling you guys right now, you will be able to get open shots, as you can see. The right hezzies is pretty easy. Like, you don't need all these cheesy styles to get open. All you need is literally a good bag. You know what I'm saying? If you have a good bag of the most basic moves, You'll just get up and like that. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Just look at that, guys. That's how you do it. Pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple, man. Just make sure if you want to get that crazy speed boost animation, man, make sure, you know what I'm saying, pay attention to what I'm doing with the controller. Make sure you do that when that ball is coming to that hand. So when I hesitate to the left, just hurry up and do that. I ain't going to say, you know what I'm saying, do this and talk. I'm going to just let you see the controller and say do that. So make sure you do that, you know what I'm saying, you see? Just do that every single time when you want to go ahead and you know what I'm saying, get that speed boost animation. You got to wait till the ball going to that hand, though. So, you know what I'm saying? You can go to that side. You can't just, you know what I'm saying, do it and then expect it because you might get a, a weird animation like that. You know what I'm saying? That animation is good, but it's not the one that you want. So make sure, you know what I'm saying, when it hits that hand, you hurry up and speed boost out. You know what I'm saying? You know. Now, next thing we're going to be hopping into is the behind the backs. The behind the backs, man, I don't use them like that because you know what I'm saying? They're not that effective as they used to be. But as you guys can see, you're just simply running and holding turbo and just flicking the right stick diagonal to the bottom. I believe it's diagonal. Don't don't correct me, man, because we're going to have a problem. Nah, I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, the behind the backs go just like that. You can't add them to your bag, you know what I'm saying? If you're a guard or something like that, it might make it a lot easier for you, man. Now, the next thing we'll have is basically when you're doing the pullback, you know, and you're trying to get to that spot and hurry up and green, like you might have your opponent guessing, and then you finally just 
hit them with that and now you're on the three-point line wide open you know you can do it two ways you can either do it with the turbo or you know what i'm saying you can do it just like that me personally guys when i'm up in the game if i have somebody sized up and then you know i sometimes might do that but a majority of the time guys if i have somebody like that i just do just like that instead of holding turbo with it because i don't be having time to think like that you know what i'm saying i just be trying to hurry up a score because you know defense is very good this year now the next thing we're going to hop into man is the behind the back as you guys can see i'm going to be real with you i have trouble doing the behind the back sometimes but as you can see for the most part man that is how you do the behind the back i, I can really do it good you know what i'm saying on the left side but for some odd reason i have kind of some trouble you know what i'm saying on the right side so you know what i'm saying i'm still learning with that but as you can see for the most part that is how you do the behind and back and you know you will learn that on the other side as well but guys you know i'm not perfect i'm just gonna show you what i can do man and how i get open but for the most part that's exactly what i do it's i don't know why y'all but it's hard to in my opinion trigger the animation like i can just do it so good y'all see that i'm doing it perfectly on the left side but i ain't gonna lie to you guys I don't know why but um you know what i'm saying it tends to not do it on the on the right side so i'm not going to stress that y'all now the next move we have is the old you know what i'm saying 2k16 2k15 step back you know it's Kyrie Irving on here basically all you have to do is just that man flick the right stick back that's pretty much it on that just flick the right stick back and you know you can obviously burst out of it and stuff and uh yeah that, that's pretty much how you do that right there the move isn't that effective to me guys it's not as you know what i'm saying i don't want to say op but it's not effective as it used to be in older games i don't know if it's just me it might just be me guys i'm not sure but um it doesn't really you know what i'm saying work like it used to in my opinion now listen here comes my best and you know what i'm saying my most important move out of all of these sigs the james harden step back as you can see with a hop jump look at that y'all you can burst out of it and keep in mind guys if you're in the corner as well say for instance you might be like right here you can literally hold james Harden and go straight to the corner like that and it's green i don't know how many times i have done that in the rick y'all but let me tell you something if you know what you're doing with this and you can actually time it and master it let me tell you guys something it's real simple just don't hold it just let it go like be in the motion of holding it but let it go look at this guys look how fast that you go after you do that that is my most cheesy and most favorite move on this game guys because i'm telling you right now the more and more you do this move and i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna be pissed off when y'all doing it against me i'm gonna be mad but i'm gonna be okay but this move is cheesy as hell man i'm not gonna lie to you it's very cheesy but it's real you know when you do a step back in real life just look at that look at how fast of a speed boost you get when you go into that move and that's the move i ain't gonna lie to you guys i use this move so much you know what i'm saying to get open because look if you're in the corner it'll take you straight to the corner just look at that if somebody's on you and you just hurry up and go to the corner like that they're not going to be able to guard you especially if you have you know blinders dead eye etc etc they're not going to be able to guard you and quick chain as well come on guys but look man if you guys did enjoy this video you know i'm not an iso guy or anything like that but i know how to create my own shot you know for those of y'all who be in my streams now look if you did enjoy this video man make sure you hit that like button and subscribe i'll leave my twitch in the description i stream every single day and i'm out y'all peace